Hey guys, my name is Alex Barham, and I usually just make the videos I'm going to make and completely ignore what everyone else is doing, but I have seen over the last couple years a bunch of different guys talk about what they keep in their rescue PFD, and since I already had these out anyway, I thought I would just take a second to go through it. So first of all, I paddle for NRS. This is the NRS Zen PFD. I have had this particular one since they came out. I have not babied it in the slightest, and this is how I really paddle it. So for starters, this is the NRS toe tether. I always rock a toe tether on my creaking PFD. I always will. I always, always make sure it's in the quick release. Otherwise, if it's not able to be released on both sides, yes, it is absolutely a death trap. And yes, I know people who are on the scene when people have passed away from the improper use of them. The only thing I would change about this is I originally picked the short size one so it'd be more compact. I would go to the longer one just because while this is absolutely perfect for teaching beginners and dragging playboats with a playboat, it is not quite long enough for dragging stuff with a creek boat without kind of banging against one side of the boat or the other. Let's go into the front pocket. So my kit is very different from the other kits I've seen people have. I have one standard beaner and then I quickly go into these style beaners with a Prusik already on it. These are non-locking built-in pulley beaners and a pre-done Prusik loop. No knot, so it's more compact and it very quickly loops through, 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 yank and I'm prusik on for a Z-drag to the exact same thing. So that's my Z-Drag kit right there. Next thing I've got going on is a knife. I know that a lot of people like to carry them out here. I don't really have a preference. I've always done that, but eventually, you know, you wait long enough and you, you break it off and it's gone. So this year I am going to try the new folding bear claw style knife. Mostly this is because I wanna try and see if I actually would use this hook tip um, we do have runs where there's a ton of fishing line in the way and this would make it much more efficient to yank and get out of the way versus trying to slash at. This front mesh pocket is basically my emergency tool bag. So what I keep in here is a piranha plug because piranha only fits piranha, but then also a dagger plug. This will fit Jackson dagger and liquid logic keeps me in really good shape and it has totally saved the day, especially now that we're paddling half slices where you desperately need a plug. The other thing I always keep handy is an assortment of the foot block wing nuts because if those go, you're kind of also toasted. This pocket is where I differ greatly from other people. So the first thing I have in here is three loops looped into one of cordelette. So as three, it allows me to loop a big tree. And then as individuals, I could use these with, combined with a Prusik to climb rope vertically if I got stuck in a canyon. Sounds crazy, but it's happened. The other thing I keep in here is a three-piece set of climbing nuts and a single carabiner. Now, this I basically keep to build anchors. Everywhere I go, in the moose or anywhere else, it's usually ice dragged rock and the reach that you would need to get to a tree versus the reach you would need to jam a nut into a crack is usually a difference of two climbing ropes. So being able to just jam a crack, yank on this thing so it's pretty much never coming out, I would have to chisel it out later and start to build an anchor is going to be the difference between life and death if something ever happens. Usually around here when we're unpinning trees and boats, we wind up using climbing gear, not slings and trees. Just how it goes for us. The one thing that drives me crazy all the time with people's kits when we are doing real world work to try and extract something is people's choice in locking carabiners. Please just use a normal screw gate carabiner and keep it lubed up. If you, if you haven't used your gear in a while, if it's spring, whatever, Put some lube into this, WD-40, whatever it takes. Make sure it spins and it's not full of sand. Those trick carabiners where you push this ball and spin this and 
you know, they're great for parties, but I don't want to sit there for two minutes trying to figure out how to open your stupid carabiner when I'm trying to rescue my friend. Not only that, but it's going to be full of dirt and grime and it's not going to work. So go back to basics, put these in your kit. So that's it. Now I have to repack my kit, but worth it just to open people's eyes, show you how we do it up in the North Country.